Thanks very much, uh, Emma. Yeah, roses are red, violets are blue. Michael Brown is my date here at Molyneux. Valentine's, where else would you want to be? Michael crabbed in here uh, with a, a very much drummed up atmosphere as Wolves look to create a strong end to the Premier League season. And make no mistake, quite rightly, both these teams have been widely praised throughout the campaign, but Wolves' results recently, since Christmas, have tailed off. One win in their last eight games. Now, a lot of draws in there. They're still very difficult to beat. They can still go back up into the Premier League's top six this evening. But that's a trend that they don't want to get any worse. They don't want that to become one win in ten, one win in twelve. No, they don't want to do that. But as we mentioned all through the programme, we, want, we have to be cautious of the amount of games that they've played. 41, which is incredible at this stage in February. But this is where this football have come. They've, they've had that sort of bad run and they've still got an opportunity to go sixth in the Premier League with a um, European qualifier in the week. So you've got to take the positives from it, Connor. Yes, they'll be a bit disappointed with the, the form recently, but we've got a great opportunity now to put it right. Two captains are inside the centre circle. Kashra Schmeichel wearing all silver and Connor Cody, the Wolves captain. These uh, sides who, it's been very close between them in the league over the years. Wolves have had 37 wins over Leicester. Leicester have had 36 wins over Wolves. There's been 32 draws. Last season, they beat each other each time. The home side taking the points, whether it was here at Molyneux or at the King Power. And this particular game last season was very close. A cracker as well. Wolves eventually beat Leicester 4-3 it was in the end. A 90th minute winner from Jota. That completed his hat-trick earlier just three minutes before that Leicester had scored an 87th minute equaliser themselves that was a proper thriller let's see what we have in store here tonight at Molyneux Wolves against Leicester in the Premier League Jamie Vardy 200th appearance in the top flight prepares to get the game started standing with his hands and his hips patiently some of those players with more of a suntan than they had two weeks ago they've been enjoying themselves in all the luxurious destinations around the world but the winter break is now over for both Leicester and Wolves and let's see if they can bounce back into action we're underway on five live and we've got Leicester playing from left to right as we look down they're wearing their traditional blue and then the gold and black of Wolves and Leicester have possession on the halfway line with James Madison passes it out to Ben Chilwell who we've been discussing he brings it up over the halfway line up towards Harvey Barnes his 50th appearance for Leicester for Harvey Barnes it was only around this time last year he came back from that loan spell at West Brom he has been a virtual ever present in the team ever since and he has the only thing you, you, you say Connor is regarding and an attacking wide area that he is he's got to deliver more goals for me he's going to go on to the next level and a side who create lots of opportunities well he's got a hot streak at the moment four goals in his last five games between the Premier League and the FA Cup let's see if Harvey Barnes can continue that tonight as uh, Chowdhury here inside the centre circle rolls to his left hand side played on through Chilwell to Madison with the golden boots and he'll roll it back over the halfway line Chaglar Soyuncu to his right hand side Johnny Evans those two who have been very much regular at the back for Leicester this season 24 of their 25 games before tonight they've started alongside each other in the Premier League the heart of defence for Brendan Rodgers here is Barnes crossing from the left hand side it took a deflection on the way through Ayose Perez tries to keep the attack moving for Leicester but they're going to lose it here Neves tries to crunch in Tielemans has done well and then it's taken on by Ricardo Pereira down the right hand side who's very much among uh, familiar faces here with so many Portuguese players on the Wolves side and the ball goes out of play just down below us and that's a throw into Wolves left full back position for them nil nil on five live here's the teams then two changes for Wolves in their last game the nil nil draw against Manchester United Rui Patricio is the goalkeeper three central defenders with Roman Saiz Connor Cody and Willie Bowley and then in midfield Ruben Neves and Leander Dendonker Dendonker who's in for Joe Moutinho tonight Matt Doherty and Johnny Otto are the regular wing backs and then three up top Pedro Neto who starts ahead of Adama Traore Raul Jimenez Wolves top goal scorer and Diogo Jota who as we mentioned scored a hat-trick in this game last season the Leicester team unchanged from their last game 2-2 at home to Chelsea Schmeichel the goalkeeper back for Pereira Evans Soyuncu and Chilwell Chowdhury the holding midfielder Perez and Barnes on the wings Madison and Tielemans pushing forward and Jamie Vardy who was sent off against Wolves last season 
He's the striker up front, and Vardy tonight uh, looking to, to end what is something of a goal drought for him, looking for his first goal of 2020. By his standards, it's been a long time since he last celebrated. Barnes rolls it back into his own half again to Soyuncu. Leicester trying to dominate the possession here in the early stages. Well, they are, and they're allowed to do so, and... That's what's remarkable, how comfortable Wolverhampton Wanderers are out of possession. That back five just sit in, they've got the protection of Neves and Dendonka. But in the wide areas where you normally see a 3-4-3 and Jota and Neto, they narrow up, they go inside of the pitch rather than outside to help those wing-backs. So that'll be the difference that leads Chowdhury is to try and get on the ball for Leicester City, but Jimenez is just sitting on him at the moment. We're live tonight on the radio, you can listen on Five Live for the BBC, you can listen online via the BBC Sport website where the uh, text commentary of this game will include uh, the reaction and developments of the Manchester City story tonight. Uh, Simon Stone earlier on in this programme saying unmistakably this is the story of the season. That is how big it is. Manchester City banned from the Champions League for the next two years. Could it open the door for Wolves to get into Europe's premier competition for next season? We've not played four minutes here yet. Free kick near the halfway line for Wolves. Connor Cody to take. Sends it Right footer, this is going to come down round about the edge of the penalty area. Leicester defender searches and it goes backwards and Schmeichel on the edge of his own six-yard box is alert and gets there just ahead of both Jota and Dendonker who are trying to close him down and a Wolves player, I think it's Jimenez, has stayed down. He's lying on the ground beside the penalty spot and he is holding his neck and he's intimating that he's been caught there. Johnny Evans, I think, was the nearest defender to him as the ball came in. He runs into Evans. I mean, I have to say, Michael Brown, I've got to think about this lately. Any collision near players' faces, ears, necks, anything, they're all going down now. There is nothing there that hurt his neck, and it's almost like he feels obliged he's got to go down. That was so tame. Johnny Evans, literally his arm was slightly up. He held his ground. They didn't see him any force. And he did go down. He's holding and then staying down. I'm not sure what he's looking for. He's just holding on to his, his Adam's apple there, sort of on his, on his throat. But it was a bit unorthodox there for Wolverhampton Wanderers. They put a, a long, deep crossing, didn't they, for Willie Bolly to come up to win the first header. They nearly got something off it. I would have expected him to play a little bit more. Yeah, Wolves pleased to have Willie Bolly back in. This is only his second appearance since October. He's been out injured for a long time. Uh, Dan Donker, who's playing in midfield tonight, had covered in central defence for long periods. Five minutes played at Molyneux. Good evening for football as well. There's all the talk of uh, Storm Denno, as I'm calling it. Storm Dennis that's coming in tomorrow. But uh, it is very cab. These are good conditions for football. The pitch looks to be in good condition. And this is Ricardo Pereira right inside for Leicester. And he's tripped by size. And that's a free kick to Leicester inside the Wolves half. Nil, nil here on five line. What was the storm called, did you say, Connor? Huh? Storm Ian. Dennis. Ian, Ian. Storm oh, Ian okay. Dennis. No, no. It's full of a hot wind and that. very messy and leaves chaos in its path. And he's going to have a, he's going to have a weekend of this, so we might as well get it off, up and running now. Free kick taken short. Madison to Ricardo Pereira. Ayrza Perez will try to cross it in very deep. High and hanging towards the back post. Controlled by Harvey Barnes. Has to step out of the penalty area to do so. Chowdhury gives it back to Chilwell behind him. Wolves are playing very deep here. They're all back in their final third. Chowdhury to Chilwell once again with the red boots. Left channel for Leicester as he tries to chip it into the penalty area. He's looking for Vardy. Ball he heads it away but straight to Madison. Leicester seeing all the ball here in the early stages at Molyneux. It's one back walls by Ruben Neves and well Jimenez takes it up to the halfway line now a bit of space on the left for Diogo Jota challenged by Johnny Evans Evans steps in the ball as he tries to clear and it's going to go out for a Wolves throw it's great just watching Wolves just sit there and and block it out just sort of who's next year in your shape balance off no gaps in between then all of a sudden they they nick the pass and then they break extremely well he was in there Jimenez it was just a poor ball but psychologically it's hard to to sort of concede possession and constantly balance shuffle across the pitch but this will side do it and then when they get the ball they're very very clinical yeah, both coaches down there wearing heavy warm padded jackets Brendan Rodgers has got the suit on the shiny black leather shoes long ball played forward by Wolves and out to the edge of the penalty area comes Casper Schmeichel Nuno Espirito Santo in the, the tracksuit Wolves coloured trainers He's got a, a bit of a history with Leicester, Nuno Espirito Santo, back when he was Porto manager. He was in the same group as Leicester in the Champions League, that was 2016-17, the season after Leicester won the Premier League. Uh, Porto lost to the King Power Stadium. Well, that 
season in the group stage and then they beat Leicester 5-0 at the drag out Diego Jota who's playing for Wolves tonight scored the fifth and final goal for Porto that evening as the ball goes out of play on the far side from us and after a hesitation from the assistant who didn't know which way to wave the flag uh, the referee tonight who is Mike Dean indicates it's a throw into Leicester Chilwell comes forward to take it short to Harvey Barnes who weaves into a crossing position but decides not to do so sends it back to the halfway line Leicester have been patient here they're not aimlessly risking losing the ball they take the safe option to hold on to possession Ricardo Pereira back to Johnny Evans back on to Soyuncu once again Leicester who host Manchester City next weekend and uh, this is a difficult patch for them to come away to Molyneux and then to play Manchester City back to back but they have had that two week break to prepare for it Ricardo Pereira unchanged Leicester team from their last game Tielemans on to Iose Perez playing very much as an out and out right winger it's a lovely movement by Chowdhury he knew that Neto was coming in to challenge him and he just dummied away from it and it has set Leicester in motion Tielemans hits it long way out really good strike left footed and Rui Patricio diving to his left hand side palms it away that was an excellent hit because he didn't just blast it he tried to pick the corner here's Ayosa Perez dribbles into the penalty area wants to cut it back from the byline Wolves still haven't fully cleared this away Neto back to Bolly now they will do up to Raul Jimenez who cleverly chests it to Neto on the right hand side and this game Michael Brown has started with a good tempo oh what a great little passages of play from both sides some real quality we just seen it fizzed into the chest of Raul Jimenez and he just chest it off brilliant and Tillemans in a great area pass from Madison he lets a long range shot it's quite comfortable for the goalkeeper in the end but what a great couple of minutes yeah, Tillemans very good to watch very graceful player as uh, Ricardo Pereira comes down the right hand side for Leicester who have started well here Oyuza Perez is encouraging him to continue this run he's put it in towards the corner flag Ricardo Pereira been held up by Saez and he well, just gets the last touch off the Moroccan defender that will be a throw in to Leicester down the right hand side Wolves win back possession with Jota crossfield ball looking for Pedro Neto one of the two changes tonight Neto's still a teenager turns 20 next month oh he's done really well here he rides the challenge into the penalty area Neto challenged by Soyuncu Neto tries to keep the move alive this is Jota good shot good save Schmeichel stretching out his left boot same body language as his father Peter in the past he used to regularly make saves like that diving down with his left foot to put it out for a corner that was Wolves best attack of the game so far that was a fantastic you know, counter-attack Doherty down the right he tried he didn't get on it Neto managed it to get it you've seen Barnes there fall to the ground he continued his run inside of the pitch he was unselfish he knocked the ball across and it was a great save in the end from a strike down at Kasper Schmeichel's feet yeah Neto who is getting a chance in the team tonight just his sixth start of the Premier League he sends in the corner Bolly's header down bounces up into the arms of Kasper Schmeichel applause around Molyneux though that was a well taken corner by Neto and Bolly was head and shoulders above the nearest opponent but Leicester counter attack where's the Wolves defence Tillemans into the penalty area Neves back and then Connor Cody challenges him the last touch comes off Tillemans and that will be a goal kick Leicester had wanted a corner last touch came off the Belgian but it is from one end to another here this game has started 100 miles an hour uh, it was 100 miles an hour there Tillemans running right through he, he had options to his left a 2v1 he didn't choose to take it he went on his own and then got caught up at that point it's easy sat here but when you're travelling so fast can you be aware can you look up can you have that vision to slot your friend in Tillemans who did have Vardy in attack it was 2 on 1 but he did that just a little bit Tillemans and it allowed I mean Neves did brilliantly to get back to be fair and, and Cody playing it off Tillemans but I wonder if he, if he could do it all again would Tillemans have played in Jamie Vardy it's easy of course to say that with hindsight Wolves nil Leicester nil 12 minutes on the clock at a packed Molyneux you can't see a single empty seat here even the, the stand in the corner the Graham Hughes stand which is sort of a, an almost temporary structure wedged in between the two uh, big stands and, and even there every single seat is taken as they peer for a view of the pitch here throw into Wolves Doherty to take on the right hand side he scored an own goal against Leicester the King Power uh, last season um, and a uh, chance to clear the ball away at the back for Chilwell and I think he wanted to play it off the Wolves player Tendonka there but Tendonka got out of the way just the nick of time so it will be a Wolves throw down that right hand side 
Given away cheaply though, Chilwell wins it back for Leicester. He's got Madison alongside him. Madison comes in field and passes short to Harvey Barnes. Good pressure by Neves who does an awful lot of work in the middle of the midfield for Wolves. Doesn't have his regular partner, Joe Moutinho, alongside him tonight. Moutinho's on the bench, so too Adama Traore who's recovering having popped his shoulder last time out against Manchester United two weeks ago. Here's Willie Bolly at the back for Wolves. Five live from the BBC at the start of what is a very busy weekend stretching into a very busy week uh, next week there is so much live football coming up on, on 5 Live as Tillemont stretches into the halfway line and wins it against Neves Barnes is sitting deep he's even behind Chilwell here and he recovers possession for Leicester so Sunday Villa play Tottenham that's the 2 o'clock game on 5 Live Arsenal against Newcastle at 4.30 We've got uh, Premier League football on Monday night, Chelsea against Manchester United. Then it's the return of the Champions League. Tuesday, Atletico Madrid against Liverpool. And on Wednesday, Tottenham host Leipzig. We've also on Wednesday got that rearranged Manchester City against West Ham game. That'll be on Sports Extra if you'd prefer to listen to that. That was the game that was called off uh, because of the bad weather last weekend. Bad pass here by Johnny Evans, who is intimating towards Ricardo Pereira. I wanted you to run on to that. Ricardo Pereira said, you put it too far in front of me. Either way, throw into Wolves and still nil-nil it's always a good one to watch that when you a player just puts a little bit too much on it you're expecting him to run you've got to make sure you're not on your own with a, the pass and left so you get your hand up and say it wasn't just me I think you know the standards of passing has been raised so much that we just expect every pass to be to its intended target it really stands out when a pass goes astray I wonder if you went back and looked at a game from the 70s you know was it was things anywhere near as crisp as they are nowadays and the, the groans there from fans for, for what was a very simple error as Wolves come on the attack down the left-hand side, Wolves nil, Leicester nil. Here on five live, and Giotto, uh, sorry, Otto, Johnny Otto comes forward to to take it. He's on loan from Atletico Madrid from last season. Now a Wolves player, of course, but he'll be cheering on. I'm sure his former teammates against Liverpool on Tuesday. Here's Den Donker, 15 yards outside the penalty area. Body shape was to shoot, then he cut back at himself. Madison was applying the pressure. Neves gives it back out to Johnny Otto on the left. He skips around Iosa Perez, then comes in field of Pereira. Perez hadn't given up the ghost. He tracks back and wins possession for Leicester and sets them in motion once again. Tielemans up to the halfway line. Tripped, was it a trip? Diogo Jota appeals his innocence. The referee has given the free kick to Leicester. He's looked sharp, hasn't he? Tillemans, he wants to make things happen. His, his pace, how he wants to run, it's probably a soft free kick. Just looking at the shape now of Wolves and that back five and where they sit, it's difficult for Jamie Vardy. That's the one you would expect for Leicester City, that outlet to run and use the space. There isn't any at the moment for him. Yeah, Jamie Vardy very much has a Valentine's Day tonight and his name is Connor Cody and he is not leaving him out of his sight. Nil-nil here, reminded that England have won the second T20 against South Africa by two runs, and that levels the series at one all. We'll have more reaction to that Manchester City breaking news. City banned from the Champions League for two years. They will uh, launch an appeal, I'm sure. We'll have more reaction to that with Emma Saunders at halftime here on Five Live. It's a huge story. You can keep up to it on the BBC Sport website as well. Jota is fouled just inside his own half. Mark Dean blows the whistle. Wolves try to take it quickly, too quickly from Ruben Neves. And it comes back for a retaken free kick just inside the Wolves' half. So Wolves who lost their last home league game here. They haven't lost two in a row in the league at Molyneux in well over a year. And they've had to absorb some early pressure here. And there's no doubt the best chances in the game so far have come for visitors Leicester. Connor Cody prepares to take the free kick. And Wolves now will send players forward. Raul Jimenez, Michael mentioned earlier on tonight, Wolves 42nd game of the season. This is a 40th appearance for Raul Jimenez. He's played in virtually every game. As uh, Barnes clears away the free kick, which have been lofted in by Cody. Back into the mix again from Saiz. Comes down to the edge of the D. Miscued by Johnny Evans. Opens up the door for Diogo Jota here. Steps into the penalty area. Left-hand side. Ricardo Pereira in front of him. Gets really close. Portuguese fullback puts it out for another Wolves corner. It all come there from the, the long ball from, from Wolves. They obviously expect Bully to, to win them. He didn't on the first one. The second one came in. Johnny Evans under a little bit of pressure. He sliced it. He, put, he should have done better. And that's what creates this corner kick for Wolves. But with Bolly there going in late now from the corner kick, Hamza Chowdhury is trying to just block his run. So the corner will be taken by Neto, left-hand side as Wolves come forward. He's there, number seven, plays it in well. Free header again, size 
Just away off target. It was Dendonka with the header. Just away off target. Veering out to the left-hand side of the poses. Kasper Schmeichel defends it. That was quite a free header, actually. He did well to create space for himself, Dendonka. He shrugged off Chowdhury. Yeah, they got the block on. And he... But to be fair to Chowdhury, he had a bully. He was trying to keep him away from the box. He's a midfield player. The height advantage isn't with you. Keep him out of the box. Keep him away. Get the block on early. So somebody else has to take that responsibility. But the overload was good there from Wolves. Wolves looking for their ninth win in the league this season. Leicester looking for their 16th victory of the campaign. Leicester have won more games to this stage of this season than they had in the, the title winning year under Claudio Ranieri, which is quite saying something. Uh, Harvey Barnes twist across from the left-hand side and he's well closed down. Combination of Dendonker and Bully and the loose ball trickles out of play on the far side and that is going to be a throw-in for Leicester. Nil-nil. Friday night in Five Live last time Leicester played on a Friday night was quite memorable for their fans you might remember it earlier in the season it, it was at Southampton it wasn't bad game was it it wasn't bad it was 9-0 there's a few people here tonight who were there Connor <laughs> this is Ricardo Pereira just inside his own half a bit of space to come over the halfway line I think our producer Rob Nothman was there that night nine goal Rothman we call him uh, this is Soyuncu just inside his own half gives it over to the left hand side and to Ben Chilwell midway inside the Wolves half now Barnes outside him back to Madison neat short range triangular passing from Leicester as they keep ball inside their opponent's half at Molyneux Ricardo Pereira right hand side safe pass again back into Johnny Evans Johnny Evans the only Leicester outfield player to have started every Premier League game this season Chowdhury Ricardo Pereira again forward out to Tillemans that wasn't a great pass well pounced upon Johnny Otto crunching in and that wins a throw in for Wolves and Nuno Espirito Santo will be pleased with that just looking at Brendan Rodgers down below us he's only lost 10 games so far as Leicester boss 10 games in round about a year three of those defeats though have come in the last month and I think we're, we're about to find that the next month or so if Leicester really are the real deal can they keep up the very high standards that they've already set for themselves uh, by the way tonight there is one game in the championship Hull against Swansea and it is 1-1 there already two goals in the opening 13 minutes in that one here Wolves come out of defence of the back this is Neto up to the halfway line Chilwell so well to track and get goal side if you like to force Neto back and uh, Doherty will turn and chip it back into his penalty area Cody will control Vardy will pressure Cody takes no chances and clears it away header won by Harvey Barnes cushioned down by Ruben Neves and Bolly that's a lovely pass in front of Doherty to set Wolves in motion up over the half and then Chowdhury comes across and slides in and technically there is so much talent on display here two very good teams up against each other tonight it's very good to watch that you know even under pressure there Connor Cody right in front of his goalkeeper wanting to play out then it was Bolly into Doherty and then you've seen the other side of it, Hamza Chowdhury coming in with a strong sliding tackle. So it's been a great game and I know it's only nil-nil, but I'm just so impressed with Wolves, how they can actually just, you know, <coughs> surrender possession almost at times. Psychologically, that must be so difficult. And as I mentioned, brilliant when they do get it back. Nil-nil. As Wolves try to come on the attack, but Chilwell, neat and tidy on the edge of his own penalty area, clears it up to Jamie Vardy. Vardy, who I mentioned hasn't scored in a while, is still top scorer in the Premier League this season as uh, Johnny Otto has it on the left hand side rolls it into Ruben Neves now on the halfway line Roman says plays a 1-2 at Diogo Jota and Wolves could probably do here with a period of, of possession inside the Leicester half because the only attacks they've made have been on the break so far they've had to absorb a lot of pressure here is Neto with Madison snapping away at him but he manages to hold on to it Diogo Jota now with Jimenez alongside and Chowdhury slides in very good slight tackle Wolves win it back immediately Neves pops one over the top but it bounces through to Kasper Schmeichel Michael Brown as a midfielder there I'm just watching Hamza Chowdhury has made one challenge then another he was under a bit of pressure 2v1 he manages to get the ball back no wonder he just stood there having a little breather that's what you want that unselfish side when some of his other teammates have got great ability in around him he's trying to get the ball back for his team and doing a great job good player isn't he 22 years of age hands to Chowdhury and he has had to be patient he's had to bide his time but very much part of Brendan Rodgers plans these days 
And as a free kick has been awarded here, free kick for Leicester. Attacking position down the right-hand side, Giotto. He came, I mean, he'll claim it's a shoulder charge. Back in the day, Michael, that would never have been a free kick. But in this day and age, you charge it to someone like that, they fall over, free kick is given against you. I think what the difference is as well, when they're travelling at such pace, they know how to do it, they know how to lock the leg slightly under any sort of contact, they can go down the players very well. So, you know... <laughs> Is it a dive? Is it not? They know when there's contact how to make sure that they get I know, the It's definitely not a dive, but it just in the old days, it, you would say, well, that was a 50-50 shoulder. Both guys go for the ball, that kind of thing. More of that in a moment. Free kick to Leicester. Madison plays it in. Towards the back for Soyuncu, free header, and he puts it straight at Rui Patricio. Jack Lars Soyuncu, who's only scored once in the Premier League this season. That was a real chance because nobody picking him up at the back post. No, there wasn't, and... Immediately Wolves counter-attack here and Jots is held up by Madison who tackles him well on the edge of the Leicester penalty area. Just going back to the free kick from this wide area just down below us. You ever seen Madison practice how he is side of his foot? You remember that David beckham -esque sort of side of the foot? he gave give everything. The shape was there. The delivery was fantastic into the, to the back post and the header was straight to the goalkeeper. But what a ball it was. Nil-nil at Molyneux tonight. Five live for the BBC. This is the Premier League. Ninth place Wolves hoping to get a win tonight to move up to sixth. And Leicester, who are currently third, and they can move leapfrog back above Manchester City up into second place of the Premier League. I mean, to be here we are mid February, and for Leicester to be second in the Premier League, what an achievement for Brendan Rodgers. As Soyuncu, because where you think where the club were a year ago back into the Claude Puel era they really seem to be treading water and with just a few tweaks here and there so it hasn't been a you know massive overhaul of the playing staff but Brendan Rodgers has, has got this team playing so well till he wants challenged here by Diogo Jota who wins it off from the halfway line now Raul Jimenez is allowed to turn as Johnny Evans backs off him. Jimenez towards the edge of the D and he's taken down by Tillemans who had originally given away the ball and scampered back and created the foul that gives away this free kick that might just be in shooting distance. You know it's 10 yards or so outside the penalty area but very central and a dangerous position for a Wolves free kick. Mike Dean hasn't shown a yellow card to Tillemans. Surprised at that? Well a little bit surprised there but the awareness there by... Raul Jimenez to turn, he realises no one. There's young players, you're told to see on the half turn, can you look over your shoulder, how do you receive, a lot mentions on the back foot. He knew exactly who was around him, that space he created, then he pushed it out of his feet and travelled. Soon as there's that little bit of contact, as we just mentioned, gone down because he knows it's a key area and a possibility of a, a great strike on goal for Wolves. Right, Ruben Neves is giving this every consideration. He's only scored twice in the Premier League this season. And Joe Moutinho would probably normally fancy a crack at this. He's on the subs bench tonight for Wolves. Central location, 10 yards outside the penalty area. Neto, the left-footed option. But the body language of Ruben Neves suggests he's about to try and blast this. Kasper Schmeichel's erected a four-man wall. Here he comes, Ruben Neves into the wall, which stands firm and does his job. That's a bit of a waste from a Wolves point of view. It is a waste, but... Oh, hang on, Chilwell's giving it away. Not sure what he was trying to do there. Something fancy, left fullback, and he's giving it away. Cross comes in from the right-hand side from Den Donker, headed away by Johnny Evans, but Wolves will remain on the attack when Leicester should have cleared it away easily. Saiz to his left-hand side to Johnny Otto. Clever ball. On for it, Diogo Jota to the byline left-hand side. Wanted to return it into Johnny. And Tielemans makes the challenge and puts it out for a Wolves throw. Michael Brown. In tight areas there, little nutmegs, little, you know, little passes, little runs off the ball. But just going back to the free kick quickly. He's a short run-up. He tries to hit it with his side of his foot. The players call that the wobbler. When it doesn't hit it right, it looks awful. You see everyone shake their head. It was a poor one. But when you hit that well, it's unstoppable. This is Wolves on the attack, left-hand side, nil-nil if you're just joining us uh, tonight on Five Live. Make sure that the last time Leicester played on a Friday night, they won 9-0 uh, at Southampton. Uh, only once before have Wolves and Leicester met on a Friday, and it's a long, long time ago. You go back to 1938, but Wolves fans might be aware of this game because it is their joint biggest league victory ever. They beat Leicester by a scoreline of 10-1. I don't think it's going to be 10-1 tonight. Nil-nil for now. Madison wins possession after Dendonka gave it away cheaply inside the Leicester half. Now, 
Barnes is going to try and counter-attack. Down the left wing. Three players surrounding. Little cheeky nutmeg by Harvey Barnes. And then he's held onto by Dan Dunker as he tried to run around to get it. And that's a free kick to Leicester. And good play from Harvey Barnes with England manager Gareth Southgate watching on. Well, he had three players in and around him. Doherty, Bully. And I think it was Dan Dunker coming over. It was a brilliant little nutmeg in the arm. Just come across his mid-drift. And that's what stopped him. Full credit to Mike Dean. He got that spot on. If... Uh, well hang on we'll, we'll, we'll just see what happens to this free kick first Leicester free kick left hand side as they come forward 10 yards outside the penalty area wide out near the sideline on the left we've played 28 minutes played in the free kick Johnny Evans rose very well but he didn't get a firm touch on the header Perez will try to return it back into the middle and Rui Patricio is able to make the save but it was just going to make about Harvey Barnes and people are tipping him to to be involved in England in the international break coming up in just a, a few weeks now uh, no matter how well he plays, is he going to get in ahead of Raheem Sterling, Jaden Sancho? I mean, there's a cue there, isn't it? I mean, just being the bright, fresh, young thing is not necessarily... He's going to have to be exceptionally good to, to get in ahead of those two. For such a long period of time, and what actually changes that opinion, as I said before, is a really strong run of goals. And I mean, a serious return of goals. But can he get in the squad? Can he get a taste? Can he keep getting better up his confidence, play around some some better players then certainly that would be something that he's got to aim yeah, to and even if Euro 2020 comes a bit early for him it's a long way to go he only turned 22 in December Harvey Barnes the Wolves have possession here inside their opponent's uh, territory Matt Doherty down the right hand side hangs it across headed on by Johnny and it's up and over the crossbar but that was one of the first times in the game that Doherty was able to attack and the wing backs who were such an important part of the the thrust of Wolves going forward and that was a dangerous cross by Doherty but the header too high it was too high and just as he pushed his out of his feet down that right hand side the deep cross combo what was more impressive that right in the penalty area on the penalty spot almost that Johnny all the way from left wing back finds himself in that area what a great run Big story tonight at Five Live. Manchester City have been banned from European competition uh, for two seasons. More of that coming up uh, on Five Live uh, during the break. Uh, in the Championship, still 1-1 between Hall and Swansea. Uh, two early goals in that one. And here Ricardo Pereira comes in the attack for Leicester down the left-hand side. Tillemans helping him out, but out-muscled. And Johnny with another, well, one of those you can find under 50-50 shoulder challenge. And the referee says... That's a foul, free kick to Leicester. Taken quickly, Tulemos, 15 yards outside the Wolves penalty area. Support from Madison inside him. Wolves very quick to bring all 11 players back behind the ball. Nuno Espirito Santos striding up and down on the edge of his technical area down below us. One of his backroom staff is having a word with the fourth official. They weren't happy with the free kick being awarded there. Fourth official tonight, Robert Jones. Here is Jose Perez, good challenge by Roman Saez, and clears it away for Wolves, but Leicester come again. Chowdhury, centre circle. Half an hour played now, and we've had chances at both ends. This is Johnny Evans, who rose very well for the free kick, but couldn't get the header down on target. Evans, who's only ever scored two Premier League goals ever for, for Leicester. Chowdhury gets the head up, tries to pick out a pass, and finds Tielemans on the right-hand side Tielemans who's been booed by the Wolves fans at the moment here's Ricardo Pereira level with the edge of the penalty area right-hand side as Leicester come forward and Donka tackles him Neves will come with it now up towards the centre circle plays it just a little fraction behind Neto there Neto wanted to run onto that he to check his run but the youngster's done really well to shrug off a challenger to keep things moving for Wolves who have it now on the left with Johnny he's challenged by Iose Perez both teams working really hard here now they Wolves fans they can see their case they're saying hang on that was a shoulder challenge why isn't that one a free kick and you can hear the boos in the background at Molyneux um, they're looking for consistency and it's difficult to be a referee at times well it is and in the first one Nuno had both arms out sort of waist height sort of saying come on Mike Dean give me something yet again he's doing it he's out of that technical area he's pushing himself right on the edge of the pitch he's almost playing at left wing back Nuno a square here Wolves who've drawn 11 times in the Premier League this season you know that, that could really be the difference had they had they lost those 11 games they probably wouldn't be in the top half had they won the majority of those 11 games they'd be right up there challenging for the title and there have been a lot of draws here's Doherty right hand side for Wolves points his finger in front of him he wants Neto to run into space he feeds it to Neto there's no one in the penalty area yet now Raul Jimenez is arriving here comes the ball but it was just flashed too high for him and Schmeichel allows it out knowing it's a goal kick 
Well, it all started from Wolves. Ruben Neves has been very alert, very alive in the middle of the pitch. Vardy, it's just too obvious with his set. He pinched it and Doherty down that right-hand side. So again, another quick counter-attack. Didn't really come of, of anything, but it's not been too many chances. It's been quite an open game, but it's that clear-cut chance they're looking for. Wolves nil, Leicester nil. Leicester have another back with their two central defenders, Soyuncu and Evans, and now Chilwell comes over the halfway line, left-hand side. Tendonka just stepped off him, so Chilwell plays across in towards Jamie Vardy. Supply line to Vardy has been sparse, to say the least, tonight, and he couldn't get anywhere near that. Cody clears it away. Leicester come again, though. Barnes in off the flank of the left-hand side. Does a little step over in front of Tendonka. Tillemans to Madison. So much talent in this Leicester team. Now Tillemans gives it out to the left-hand side to Chilwell. And again, Vardy waits patiently, chaperoned by defenders in around the penalty spot. Can Leicester pick him out? This is Madison, edge of the penalty area. Challenged by Ruben Neves. Away by Dendonker, but straight to Tillemans. Leicester come again. Left-hand side, Harvey Barnes. One step over, one cross, too high for Vardy. And headed away by Johnny, and it should be cleared here by Doherty. And Wolves play their way out of trouble. We've got 11 minutes to go until half-time at Molyneux. Now Vardy's got a chance. Into the penalty area, on his left boot. Angle is tied, Bolly slides in. And Wolves do well. It is played off Madison for a goal kick. First time in the game, though, that Vardy has had the ball at his feet in the Wolves' penalty area, and it's taken him 34 minutes to, for that to happen. Yeah, it has, and it was Chowdhury again pinching the ball. But there's no real space for Jamie Vardy. Bolly does well, cuts off the supply, he tries to fizz the ball across. But how can Jamie Vardy get on the ball? What sort of things can Brendan Rodgers and Leicester City look at at half-time or even earlier to get him on it? You need to get him on the ball, create opportunities, whether it's from wide areas. At the moment, we've not really seen him. Wolves starting a run of three home games in a row. They host uh, Espanyol here in the Europa League on Thursday. They host Norwich here in the Premier League next weekend. Wolves' next away game will be in Spain. Uh, second leg of that game against Espanyol that's uh, Thursday February 27th here tonight 0-0 nil, nil with Leicester the visitors and this Friday night in the Premier League on 5 Live so she does well gets in in front of Raul Jimenez no nonsense defending puts it out for a Wolves throw they remain on the attack down the right hand side Matt Doherty who scored an own goal against Leicester at the King Power last season takes the throw in for Neto and that is put out by Madison for another Wolves throw Doherty takes his time we've got Raul Jimenez running short for it Doherty tries to back heel comes off Chilwell third throw in in succession for Wolverhampton Wanderers Doherty takes this one quicker hooked away by Chowdhury though Madison with a, a high boot now Madison raises his foot to kick the ball just as Doherty stooped his head down and there's a collision between Madison's boot and Doherty's head and the referee says free kick and he says yellow card now I'll tell you why I think that's particularly harsh is that Madison is watching the ball come over his shoulder in no moment does he look to see that Doherty is there and it's not particularly high is it it's more that Doherty's head is stooped what do you make of it Michael Brown well as it comes over his head the pictures show you straight away I thought it looked a little bit harsh to get a yellow card and we want to keep the feet down but when when players are trying to bring it out the sky on the term in one, in one sense we say what an amazing touch that would have been it was Doherty being really really brave putting his head in there you can't give him a yellow card for that He's, your eyes are on as we're watching it back he hits the ball Doherty yeah, really I, really you know, sort of <laughs> exaggerates it slightly he will have got caught I'm not sure to the to the level, but no, we'll I, see I think, the physio. I think to be now. fair, look, look Matt Darby's been, been kicked in the head. That's going to hurt, and he's he's down there receiving treatment. But I think the crucial thing here is the height. You know, the the boot is not above, let's say, Madison's shoulder. You know, he's he's lift up his leg, yes, but not up to to face height. It's the fact that Doherty is stooping down. I mean, he's very brave, Doherty. He's stooping down trying to get it. That's why he gets the kick to the face. I, I am surprised Mike Dean's given the yellow card. He does, and I now know why the reaction is there, because there is a, it looks like there is blood and there is a cut on his head, so that's why he does react, but still going to the point. Did Madison mean it? Did he see him? And, you know, you have to be aware, you don't want to endanger an opponent, we get that, but the ball's over the head, and as you said, Connor, we could have been sat here saying what an amazing touch it was. Uh, Wolves fans are applauding because the substitutes have gone to warm up, obviously they're concerned uh, for Doherty is getting treatment down there amongst the Wolves substitutes Adama Traore 
who has been a revelation this season. He's getting linked to all the biggest clubs in Europe. He has been a real threat with his speed to Premier League defences. Could he be brought on to play on the, the right-hand side if Doherty has to, to leave the, the pitch? I'll just let you know, it is half-time of the Championship. Hull against Swansea, 1-1. Both goals coming very early there uh, within the opening 13 minutes. So a delay of play here, chance to remind you that the top story tonight in five live Manchester City are facing a two-year ban from the Champions League. They will appeal, uh, but the BBC Simon Stone says it is the story of the season. We'll have more reaction to that uh, coming up in five live uh, later on this evening. Uh, tonight in the Scottish Championship, it's nil-nil between Aloha Athletic and Dundee United. There's a quarter of an hour to go there. In the Scottish uh, Challenge Cup, it's half time between Partick and Wraith Rovers. 1 0 to Wraith Rovers there at half time. And uh, oh, Shiner tomorrow, he's got a, a black eye coming, does Matt Doherty, because we see his face close up on the, on the monitor here. And Madison comes across and gives him a little hug. And to be fair, Doherty's accepted that. And he knows there was no intention there but he now will leave the field to continue receiving treatment. Yeah, you've seen the pressure of the, the medical team there doing tests on his vision. When you get that sort of strike to the head, he was checking, he's saying, what can you see? Left and right, covered on both eyes. And they're, they're under real pressure now, the, the, the medical department, to make sure that these players are OK to continue, especially when they take that blow to the head. Matt Doherty will hope to be in action for the Republic of Ireland in the Euro 2020 playoffs next month. Mick McCarthy has said that uh, both he and Seamus Coleman can't see them both playing in the same team, which is a, a big talking point in Ireland at the moment. Doherty at the moment has had to leave the pitch, but he'll be back on imminently once this free kick has been taken. Neto standing over it. Right wing for Wolves. He plays it in swinging with his left boot. Johnny Evans' positioning was perfect, and he heads it away. And Jose Perez continues the clearance, and Neves will retreat to the halfway line. Wolves regain possession. Doherty is back on. He looks OK. Connor Cody plays a pass forward towards Doherty. Chests it down straight to Chilwell. Chilwell can't control it though. And Neto's in to win it off him. Now Madison is back trying to help out. And Mike Dean blows the whistle again. And he says that's a foul. Foul by Neto on Madison. Free kick to Leicester City. Still nil-nil. Half time approaching at Molyneux. Yeah, it was a foul there. Madison just got blocked. Couldn't get away from it. Um, and the supporters are not best pleased here with, with Mike Dean. Any decision... Uh, Goes back to probably the free kick just before that Nuno had his arms up and it's now it's a case of how Leicester City can they get back from controlling a bit of possession. They've not really had much in the last five or so minutes. Wolves nil. Leicester nil. Oh Chowdhury in trouble here on the edge of his own penalty area. Neto comes in and he slices the shot. It sat up for him on the half volley. He lashed his left boot through it, but he actually just skimmed the edge of the ball. An ugly shot at the end. It was a poor pass to Chowdhury. I don't think Chowdhury was actually the player at fault there. He, he never had a chance to receive that. Neto pounced, and Leicester almost punished for a rudimentary error. Well, they did, but just the pace there. Perez just couldn't get away down this right-hand side. And just as I mentioned about Leicester City getting possession, they lost the possession, and they've got to be careful as the traps are there and the pace quickly there. Jimenez gets involved. And now the counter-attack. Wolves in possession on the halfway line. Roman Saez tries to pick out Johnny. Ricardo Pereira crunches in, wins the ball back for Leicester. Jamie Vardy comes down under a challenge from Saez. Free kick is a one. It's a game that the opening sort of half an hour here was a lovely flow to it. The last ten minutes, it's become patchy and bitty. A lot of fouls, a lot of free kicks. Yeah, there is. And again, another wasted pass. And... Maybe we say they've, they've put a lot of energy, uh, a lot of work ethic to try and make it happen early on in this game and now it's starting to get a little bit tired with only four or five minutes left to, to half-time. Uh, five Live Sport tomorrow with Mark Chapman uh, tomorrow afternoon. Uh, not many Premier League games this weekend, a little bit like last weekend. It's the, the second weekend of the, the, the winter break. Here comes Johnny down the left-hand side, hangs it across the ticket of action. Raul Jimenez with a header that he puts way wide, not just marginally wide. That must have been 15 yards off target. Normally, you would expect him to hit the back of the net. I do think the cross took a deflection on the way in, but if anything, that seemed to guide the ball even better for Jimenez. What do you make of that one, Michael Brown? Oh, Johnny's been impressive. It was a delivery. He did just sort of sit up and wait, and he... I think he just got in front of the ball and his head was sort of actually then coming away from goal and he couldn't then get round it. 
it looked like it went the wrong way off his head so it was a disappointing header but maybe it was just behind yeah, him yeah I think that deflection did play a part that he, he wanted to run onto the header the deflection sort of brought it straight at him and then in mid-flight almost he's trying to change his his trajectory and he ended up skewing it away off target Wolves best chance for some time though here they come again Matt Doherty down the right hand side Leicester trying to get players back Doherty's got Madison for pace puts too much on it surely for Neto Neto to the byline and will win a corner that's as good as he could do there winning a corner off Ben Chilwell Wolves after a relatively slow start by their standards are finishing this first half on top they are they seem to be finding little little pockets they sort of sort of conserve that energy then the right time they can come out with the pace and power they're clinical when they get going Pedro Neto who's in the team tonight with the Damatre Ore on the bench he waits patiently for the referee signal that he can take the corner kick raises both hands in the air as a signal rolls it short to Diogo Jota back out to Neto now across towards the back post from where it came and it's going to be an off Willie Foley header by Doherty back into the mix and Willie Foley the central defender celebrates his first Premier League goal of the season. Doherty, who headed the ball back across the face of goal, has got his face now covered in blood because he had that earlier knock to the head. I think heading it back across the goal was right on that cut, but well taken. Two Wolves defenders combining, and we had just mentioned how Wolves were finishing this first half on top. Now they're finishing it in front. Well, the eye it was a brilliant sort of set piece. You see all the Wolves bench below me. That's what it tells you. The staff have worked on something. The ring, the goalkeeper on the the in swinger. Oh, 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 hang on, hang on. The purple screen is up, and VAR is checking for a possible offside. And you can imagine that's gone down like a lead balloon at Molyneux. VAR tonight is Michael Oliver. He wants is it to the know Doherty it's an on the back post when you see when he first goes round on the cross to the back post? Maybe just that one. He steps left of Andrew Chowdhury. Nuno Espirito Santo waits to see if this goal has got to stand. Huge celebrations from Wolves at the time. Mike Dean, who is well, he's he's fond of a little bit of drama, and he is waiting to see this. Right, we're getting to see the replay in our monitors getting the screen with all the lines right this is earlier this is in the build up before Neto got it before the original cross I think at the moment we're just seeing a freeze frame of, of before the passage of play that led to the goal the Wolves will be distraught if, if this doesn't stand I think it's the heel of one of the Leicester players maybe Den Dunker I think it's Den Dunker over there the top of the screen but oh it'll be one of those where you're upside by a heel no, you're right, it's not Ted Dunker, he's in the middle, correct. Jota. Yeah. It doesn't stand, it's offside, celebrations for the Leicester fans. It is still nil, nil. Now that is a controversial one, it's not the scoring of the goal, it's the passage of play before the cross came in. Oh, I have to say, Michael Brown, I'm a big fan of VAR, but oh, that one doesn't, that feels a bit dodgy to me. This is unbelievable, what a, a magnificent move by Wolves, they've worked on the training ground, they've drawn the short corner, but it's as they play it short, onto the, you know, that little 10 yard pass, he's come off the line as Jota, all the way along with Chilwell following him, and as the, 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 as the Leicester City players just come up slightly, it's his, probably his left foot, I mean it's absolutely minuscule. Yeah, Jota offside, very controversial really controversial now this will be up there with the the questionable VAR decisions this season and uh, you know absolutely mathematically as best as they can judge there's a heel offside or what have you but it's the fact that it's 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 not even the touch that you know is the crossing it's the pass that leads to the pass that leads to the cross that then leads the header back that then you know there's four more touches of the ball before it hits the back of the net here come Wolves can they regain where they were Doherty on the left hand side tries to get onto it an overstruck pass from Neto Neto serious with himself and the boos ring around Molyneux and the officials are not getting any Valentine's cards tonight from Wolves supporters Wolves who had they will feel they deserve to be in front they had just begun to take control of the game they score the goal but disallowed by the video assistant referee it's extremely fortunate for Leicester City because the way that thought will anybody sees it listening to this how how it's given it's nobody no official would have ever ever 
seen that and I understand why VAR comes in but that is so cruel yeah cruel is a, is a good word to describe it three minutes have been added on for stoppages most of those with the deliberation as to whether the goal would stand or not nil nil it remains and that could be a really big boost for Leicester in their hopes to get back into the Premier League's top two this evening Leicester were very 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 close to going in 1-0 down at the break but scoreless it remains and the crowd, you can hear in the background the crowd are not happy the boos and the jeers and the whistles are ringing around Molyneux Madison is positioned on the halfway line Wolves who had built up a great head of steam before that disallowed goal Tilly Waltz on to Vardy has dropped deep here the boos continue Ricardo Pereira's cross from the right looking for Harvey Barnes Bully who had thought he'd scored at one end heading away down the other this is Saez under pressure from Ricardo Pereira takes it out to the corner flag Ricardo Pereira's leaning all over him and eventually the free kick is given took a long time to give that Michael Brown I know, I know you're going to say, why would I say this, Connor? But that's just play on. It's a great battle down. You know, Saiz and Pereira having a real go and just give a cheap free kick. Didn't need it. That's it. That's half time, and you can hear everything about the mood here by those boos in the background. Wolves nil, Leicester nil. It is, but Wolves will feel very hard done by that they are not in front. Willie Bully's header, but in the build-up. There was a fractional offside from Diego Jota and Mike Dean has got Boos ringing in his ear as he makes his way towards the tunnel. Wolves captain Connor Cody is over and shouting at Mike Dean. He is very unhappy and those protests, Emma, are continuing right down into the tunnel. It's a sour mood here on Valentine's night. Wolves nil, Leicester nil. Same starting 11s will start the second half as well, Emma. We're just back underway here at Molyneux. Wolves fans not happy over half time a few of them came and they were roaring in the press box and I don't know who they wanted to blame amongst the media but they wanted they wanted blood and they were shouting and shouting um, it is the fourth time this season in the Premier League that Wolves have had a goal disallowed by VAR only Sheffield United have had more goals uh, ruled out by that system than Wolves so they're a bit sick of it this was a particularly controversial one even we went down quickly to the the press room at half time Michael Rob. people don't they're trying to figure out like why and people are explaining it and it's not you know fair enough and, and I get people don't like tight margins at the best of time but I think if it's the strikers running through and he's a fraction upside at least everyone really understands it this one was much more complicated because it was in the build up but the goal didn't stand Willie Bully's goal ruled out and it is Wolves nil Leicester nil back underway for the second half um, Emma saying there about how the, the game had gone a bit patchy before half time certainly the opening half half an hour was, was end to end it just shows the competitive nature of the reason it had become stop start a lot of fouls were being made a lot of crunching tackles were going in and I guess that's going to continue yes there was they started a, a few fouls as you said people giving the ball away but I think they went at some real intensity there was some real quality early on in the half you've got to understand uh, under that pressure as I said to you, they need to get half-time, get that little bit of a rest, bring the legs and, and start the, the second half stronger. Here comes Chilwell, this is a storming run, he gets to the edge of the penalty area, Doherty comes across, stands his ground, Chilwell runs into the back of him, and the referee says nothing wrong with that, play on, goal kick to Wolves, away to our left-hand side, nil-nil here at Molyneux, we'll give you a reminder of the teams in full, Rui Patricio is the Wolves goalkeeper, three central defenders, Willie Bully. Connor Cody, Roman Saiz, the two wing backs, McDardy and Johnny Otto. Two in the middle of the midfield, Ruben Neves and Leander Dendonker. There's no Joe Moutinho tonight, he's on the bench. And then up front, no Adama Traore, also amongst the substitutes. So it's Pedro Neto, Raul Jimenez, and Diogo Jota. Jota, who was the player who was offside in the build up to that disallowed goal. In the championship tonight, it is 2 2 now between Hull and Swansea, and they've played an hour there. The Leicester team, Schmeichel, the goalkeeper, back four. Ricardo Pereira, Johnny Evans, Chaglar, Sionju, and Ben Chilwell. Hamza Chowdhury is the anchor in the midfield. Then there's a four, right to left of Oyoza Perez, Yuri Tielemans, James Madison, and Harvey Barnes. And Jamie Vardy is the striker up front. Vardy who has yet to be presented with a clear chance in the game so far. Now what's happening here? Doherty, who got a head injury towards the end of the first half, and he was visibly had blood... Uh, pouring from it towards as the teams went off at half time they've obviously worked uh, like the corner men in, in boxing to try and patch that up and to stop the, the flow but it's still bleeding down there as Rui Patricio here has got to come out of his penalty that was dangerous Raul Jimenez took a throw in 
back to the goalkeeper. It barely had enough to get there, but Vardy nearly intercepted it. As it is, Rui Patricio's put it out for a throw, which is taken quickly by Leicester. Tillemont's cross, flashes in front of Vardy, doesn't come down for Jose Perez. He tried to hit it just outside the six-yard box. Big chances for Leicester here with three minutes played in the second half. Michael Brown. Yeah, it was a big chance down this left-hand side. Chilwell with a great delivery. Just look at it there, Perez right in front of the goal. There's Wolves players in front of him, it just didn't sit for him. But there is a big concern, as you said, from, from Doherty down here. You, you'd have think that would have been addressed at half-time. Yeah, I'm surprised at that. Just a quick one going back to the VAR, Connor. As I said, you know, the players playing out there, they will not be able to understand and envisage what that VAR was, how, why, what. It would have been really confusing, not just for the supporters, as, as we understand as well, both for the players. Yeah, Matt Doherty still off the field. Wolves temporarily playing with ten men. An enormous tub of Vaseline has been produced and that's going to be slathered onto the course. That's always the way you do it. They, they actually might need a stitch down there. They're taking out other further medical equipment or maybe maybe they're just putting on a, a headband. But that's all happening while play resumes. Leicester playing from right to left as we look down. In possession. Chilwell on the left-hand side. No goals on five live on this Friday night. As uh, Chowdhury tries to switch the flow of play out to the right for Leicester. Controlled under pressure by Ricardo Pereira. He plays it back to the halfway line to, to Johnny Evans. So they put a, a black plaster bandage over the head of Matt Doherty. And he's come on again. Wolves back to 11 men. Ricardo Pereira with a chance to cross on the right hand. Oh, lovely quick feed from him to get into the penalty area. He got away from Johnny Otto. Here he is. Shoots it across the face of Colin Wide. So close to an opening goal for Leicester. Those were twinkle toes by Ricardo Pereira. The way he got past the first defender there. We can just tell how excited his manager was below us clapping and rightly so he's so difficult it keeps tight areas once he got into the box he pushed it onto his right it was a great shot just into the side neck netting but in those tight areas great feet to get out of that good player Ricardo Pereira three goals in the Premier League from right back already this season very nearly got another one there we've played five minutes in the second half Wolves nil Leicester nil Wolves looking for their second win in nine games Jota onto Raul Jimenez just joining our coverage on Five Live very controversial VAR disallowing of a Wolves goal just before half time Johnny Evans' possession edge of the Leicester penalty area plays it into midfield for Jose Perez waiting for the ball to come for him that wasn't the right call here's Raul Jimenez has it on the edge of the D tackled by Chowdhury goes down referee says free kick it's only just outside the penalty area Raul Jimenez was about to pull the trigger yellow card for Hamza Chowdhury and a free kick for Wolves at a very dangerous location oh I, I'm just thinking does he get the ball maybe just misses as it flicks up it's such a dangerous sort of area just trying to see it back it, I'm not so sure yes, uh, but when he's running there he's going to pull the trigger Jimenez just delays it Chowdhury goes for thinks he can get it and this is a great position on the pitch now for Wolves just outside the area yeah Chowdhury is still making that circular motion with his hands he's done it to the assisted to the referee again he's saying I got the ball he did get the ball and Jimenez kind of trod on Ch uh, Chowdhury's ankle with the ball gone now and that was the trip well, Wolves will probably feel that they're owed something here after that VAR decision before half time but this will be a hot topic if Wolves were to score from here Roman Saez is standing over the free kick and he looks like he is going to pile drive it his body language suggests he is going to do a hot shot Hamish here here he comes Roman Saez jiggery run hits it Wall does its job comes off the back of Chowdhury and falls for Doherty right hand side he'll send it across too close to Schmeichel Kasper Schmeichel easily makes the save still nil nil it was almost like that sort of the rugby try run up the little fast feet the little shuffle do you know what the it was execution like? wasn't great do you remember Simone Zaza's penalty at, at Euro 2016 it was like that the, the jumping jig of a run up anyway play on this is Harvey Barnes down the left hand side Hull have taken the lead in the championship against Swansea they lead 3-2 Bully defending by the corner flag under pressure from Barnes takes no chances and puts it out for a throw in throw into Leicester attacking position down the left hand side this tight cagey game continues Chilwell to take the throw in it's right down by the corner flag that Leicester are attacking Chilwell actually wanted to take it a bit further back towards the halfway line but Mike Dean has said get right back in that corner where the ball went out and this time it will be a throw into Wolves Chilwell wanted to take a second throw in there but 
Mike Dean says it's the other way around. So Matt Doherty has now got a, a bandage plastered onto his head. You can see some white gauze sticking out of the top and then a black wrap all the way around it. He prepares to take the throw in. He got a boot to the head towards the end of the first half for James Madison. Madison went in the book for it at the time. Clearance by Doherty up towards the halfway line. Chilwell gets up ahead of Neto. Tillemans wins it but feeds the ball straight to Raul Jimenez. Jimenez gives it away to Chilwell. This patchy nature of the game continuing. Vardy cushions a header down for James Madison. Midway inside the Wolves half. He's looking for space here. Gives it out to Ricardo Pereira on the right-hand side. Back into Madison in the middle. Midway into the Wolves half. He's got Chowdhury behind him. Wolves have got 11 players back behind the ball. Everyone's working really hard here. Leicester in attack. Wolves in defence. Chilwell's cross calmly chested down. Excellent defending. Roman Saez chesting it down for Rui Patricio. It is still Wolves nil. Leicester nil on five live. It was very cool, wasn't it? Playing left of a three at centre back. It was a good ball in by Chilwell. He had a little look around him and he just cushioned the ball back. No, it's hard to do that. It's having the bravery to do it. He's had a long season, Roman Saez. He played in the Africa Cup of Nations with Morocco through the summer. Back late from pre-season training, straight into the Europa League campaign with Wolves. And, and here he is now in February, and Wolves hoping to get back up into the Premier League's top six tonight. That's the prize on offer if they win here. The news earlier on tonight that Manchester City have been suspended to the Champions League for the next two years. Could mean that fifth place in the Premier League would get into the Champions League next season. That would become a, a certainly viable target for Wolves a lot of water under the bridge though between now and then not least the inevitable appeal from Manchester City here is Harvey but surely being pulled back by Ted Dunker and Mike Dean's already reaching for the puck I think before he reached for the whistle there he reached for the card yellow card Ted Dunker clearly fouling Harvey Barnes it was so obvious wasn't it he tried to be discreet with it but Barnes got away but right across his chest he was almost ripping the badge off the the Leicester City badge was coming off he was never going to get away with not getting a yellow card with that one that's the voice of Michael Brown from Manchester City and Tottenham midfielder watching this game with us here on 5 Live at a crowded Molyneux they've played 10 minutes of the second half Leicester who have proved to be such shrewd operators this season for Brendan Rodgers can they find a way to prize through this Wolves defence or will Wolves as they have done so regularly this season come up with late second half goals to win games something that Nuno Espirito Santos team have done with great regularity this is Madison inside the centre circle spins away from Dendonker feeds it to the near touchline Leicester's left Chilwell is up there he gives it to Harvey Barnes who tried to return it straight away first time don't think Chilwell was quite ready for that and Bully again nothing fancy puts it out for a Leicester throw he nearly got caught out there Bully he just thought I don't want to be fancy I'll just not the ball out but Chilwell was quick and in behind him there was Vardy so he had to recover quickly but hopefully we find some goals all the expectations in the press area all everybody talking it all thinking there's got to be some goals this evening Jamie Vardy in this match so far this is this is some stat Vardy has had seven touches of the ball that is fewer than any other player on the pitch that's a stat from Opta tonight wow seven touches and that just shows how tightly he's been marked by the Wolves' defence. Chilwell has it on the left-hand side into Harvey Barnes, runs into Dardy, last touch, came off Barnes, throw into Wolves. But they've got to find an option. They know what threat he is, Jamie Vardy, or is it one of those, you don't see him, all of a sudden it'll open up, he'll be really, really fresh, he'll be able to put the ball out, and that's when he can finish. Well, you certainly expect him to do better than that. What's your feeling, Michael? Brown? The longer it stays nil-nil, does it increase the likelihood of Adama Traore being brought on? He popped his shoulder two weeks ago today. But Wood needs must for Wolves. Will they gamble on bringing him back and into the fray here? What's such a competitive game? Here's Tilly Mons for Leicester. Hits it from outside the penalty area. Bounces once up into the stomach of Rui Patricio. And Wolves, remember, we've got Europa League against Espanyol on, on Thursday. I guess ideally... Nuno Espirito Santo would like to not have to use Traore tonight and have him fresh for Thursday. For me personally, you've got to look and take into account the, the opposition that you're playing against. Leicester City <laughs> sat in third with a chance to go second. He can hurt you. So Here come maybe Leicester again. They found a second win. You know, this is Harvey Barnes to Vardy in the penalty area. Poor touch Vardy. Only his eighth touch of the match. And he plays it too far in front of Barnes. It was a poor return pass. Goal kick to Wolves so Adama Traore is warming up down there he's uh, struggling Mario Balotelli style with a bib at the moment gets it on over the head long braided hair down the back of his neck as well 
As the ball goes out of play directly down below us, and that will be a throw into Leicester. He looks like he's really warming up with, uh, with the purpose, with the intensity, as if he thinks this game's opening up. I might be 60, 60, 70 minutes, and I'm going to come on the pitch. And possibly the actual injury is okay. It might be just the loading of the amount of training that he's not being able to do. The, uh, the term game changer is overused in football, but he's a guy who can be. I mean, straight away, the Leicester defence are going to pull back 10 yards if he comes on. Here's Raul Jimenez. Plays the ball into Jota. It was a good ball, but Jota wasn't ready for it. He clipped his heels. Ayose Perez tries a counter attack. Runs into Roman Saez. Referee says Saez's challenge was fair. Wolves get possession back. Great noise of Molyneux. Neves plays it forward. Accurate ball for Raul Jimenez. Was drilled at him, though. Difficult to trap, and he fails to control, and the loose ball spills through to Kasper Schmeichel. Still nil-nil here on Five Live. Return of the Champions League next week. We've got Atletico Madrid against Liverpool on Tuesday on Five Live. Full commentary from Spain. Uh, we've got Chelsea Manchester United on Monday. We've got Tottenham against Leipzig. That could be a good game on, on Wednesday. Full commentary on Five Live. Return of the Champions League after the winter break. Here, Leicester City who, well I think at this stage it'll be a surprise if Leicester aren't in the Champions League next season they've had such a good campaign Harvey Barnes rolls in front of Vardy here Vardy tries to come back, Cody's doing a great job on Vardy and he's able to nip in and clear it away and Saez with a cool ball onto Doherty Doherty's not done quite as well Madison picks it up and he weaves his way into the penalty area lovely touch goes down oh big case for a penalty Roman Saez was the defender Vardy pushed it, I'm sorry Madison pushed it past him we know the pace that he's got he then ran into the defender and took a tumble. Mike Dean was right behind that. He said, no penalty. What do you make of that, Michael Brown? Well, he plays. He knows it's coming. There is contact. They are uh, looking at it. It's just a strong arm. His, his elbow comes up slightly. He was never going to get it. Brendan Rodgers' reaction was penalty. And then he's sort of gone we can see from here it wasn't never no, going to get it no. VAR complete that's one of the, the quickest VAR reviews I've seen actually almost immediately they said VAR complete get on with it no penalty but dangerous pressure again from Leicester and they have come out the second half with renewed ambition here they're the areas you want to see Madison getting on the ball can he get in the penalty box because he can go both ways and you see straight away the intensity goes up when he gets on the ball again he's not really had much of it Enjoyable game so far, no goals yet, and things are about to get interesting because Adama Traore is getting ready to come on. We heard in Five Live during the week with uh, Darren Campbell and Eleanor Oldroyd on Thursday, they're talking about how uh, Darren Campbell has, uh, has done coaching with Adama Traore in the sprinter's view. I mean, he's built like a sprinter, he's got phenomenal pace, and how he controls that and almost doesn't try to go at his maximum speed because that's just too fast to play football at here is Raul Jimenez into the penalty area for Wolves cuts back at himself twice Chilwell the defender great play from Raul Jimenez sends it across Ten Donker in the back post won't get there and then as Doherty goes for it the whistle blows there had been a foul on Tillemans and a free kick I think Ten Donker as he was challenging for the ball foul the Belgian free kick to Leicester and that will relieve a bit of pressure for them just watching Raul Jimenez in such a tight area and having that close control, that awareness to Tain again. But when he gets to the byline, how he manages to, to wedge the ball up with that balance and as he's, as he's falling over, it was a great ball in. Yeah. Out and out, fantastic player. I mean, in terms of pure number nine, he's got all those attributes, but so much more to the Mexicans. Play 20 goals this season for Wolves. Leading the line tonight at home against Leicester City on Five Live. I really enjoy watching him play. It's that mixture of and touches, that talent and that composure that he has. Here come Leicester on the attack. Down the right-hand side, Jose Perez. Can't control it. Chance for Wolves to counter-attack. Ball played in front of Diogo Jota. Chests it over the halfway line. Then he tried to glide it onto Raul Jimenez, but good positioning by Johnny Evans. And the Leicester central defender regains possession. 62 minutes on the clock at Molyneux. Both coaches out on the edge of the technical area. Madison rolls it along the halfway line to Ricardo Pereira, the right-hand side. He's on his bike. Makes up 30 yards already. Trying to put a low ball in towards Vardy. Good defending again. Johnny Otto intercepted. And Rui Patricio slipped as he came to clear a back pass. He gets it away, but it'll be a throw into Leicester. They remain on the attack down the right-hand side. I'm just watching below now and all the coaching staff a high five and Adama Traore watch the noise listen to it when he comes as soon as he gets the ball that's what's brilliant uh, out comes Rui Patricio makes a save inside the Wolves six yard box 
final word of instruction and encouragement from Nuno Espirito Santo who quite literally has his arm around Adama Traore down there encouraging words for a player who when he's on his game he can be unplayable unstoppable Adama Traore here the Manchester City game when he was absolutely brilliant when Wolves got the the late winner they came from 2-0 down to win 3-2 just after Christmas and he was instrumental in that so here he comes and the player who'll make way is Pedro Neto so the youngster who's worked hard tonight makes way well this is a whole other kettle of fish now Adama Traore comes on for Wolves can they win this game now in the final half hour Immediately he moves into an attacking position. Throw into Leicester. Left full back position for them. Chilwell down to Barnes. Cleared away by Chilwell up over the halfway line. Back to Saez. Adamatrio taking up a position on the right wing. Chilwell's in for a busy time. <laughs> this is on the other side. Diogo Jota with uh, Johnny Otto. Otto plays it to Jota. Back to the halfway line again to Saez. And talk about out and out winger. He is running on the chalk of the touchline of Dama Traore and immediately Rui Patricio blasts it out to this side doesn't quite reach Adama Traore Doherty loses it in the halfway line handball by Raul Jimenez free kick to Leicester Wolves fans not happy with that it did just deflect in it flick on to Jimenez who's always going to give it what was brilliant there is the goalkeeper got the ball for Wolves as there was a diagonal I'm just watching Ben Chilwell look over his shoulder out to the left hand side his head's looking thinking where is Adama Troyari? Where is he? When is he coming? How do I deal with him? Entertaining game here, close game here. And you can very much say that about events at Hull this evening. Hull 3, Swansea 3. That's this evening's game in the Championship. They're into the last 10 minutes or so there. 3-3. Three, 0-0 three. Nil, nil here though. As Jota comes out of defence with Neves. Challenged by Madison. Good tackle by James Madison. Gets a lot of praise for his flair play, but he got stuck in there. And now Ricardo Pereira is into the penalty area for Leicester. Pulls it across. Harvey Barnes shoots first time. Came off a defender. Great defending. Connor Cody, I think, with a final touch. And Wolves had to be on high alert there. Now, for the first time, Adama Traore. Ball at his feet. Sprints over the halfway line. 30 yards made up already. Rolls it in front of Raul Jimenez, but too far in front of him. Jimenez can't run as fast as Traore. So that's not a bad first impact for the man who's just come on. And the space was there for him and this was mentioned the, the decision making and the touch and that finesse and it's easy for us to sit here when he's travelling so quick but on that occasion the ball just could have been a little bit better it was the perfect situation for him running with the defence backing away and into Leicester territory a little bit rusty having just come on Adama Traore that was his first touch of the ball here come Wolves down the left with Johnny gets level with the edge of the penalty area Overlapping run outside in by Dendonker. Now back to Saez. Wolves have it left hand side as they come forward. Back into the middle. Neves attempts a cross field ball out to Adama Traore. Takes it down on his chest. Right up against the touchline on the right hand side. But doubling up on him, Leicester. Harvey Barnes is back helping out Chilwell. Adama Traore gets around them, sends in the cross anyway. And Soyuncu clears away on the edge of the six yard box. Adama Traore turned Harvey Barnes inside out there. <laughs> well there was two of them wasn't there Barnes was there and just if he got past him the Chilwell was thinking I'll let Harvey Barnes do this and stay right where I am Leicester preparing a change Mark Albrighton will be coming on in a moment Leicester have got a throw in left full back position Leicester have had two wins in the last seven they beat West Ham in the Premier League they've beaten Brentford in the FA Cup they would love a win tonight and so far if you take the VAR controversy out of it these two have cancelled each other out really nil-nil the Wolves will feel they should be in front and Willie Bolly's goal disallowed by the video assistant referee just before half time by the way at match of the day tomorrow night 10.20 BBC One Gary Lineker with the Chris Sutton and Danny Murphy and I'm sure they will be looking at that incident right here's the change for Leicester Jose Perez who <clears throat> I think he's had a rather quiet second half he's not surprisingly the man who's making way Mark Albrighton comes on to replace him yeah as you can see that he's had flashes and he sort of fell from a little bit but he's now been quiet it's just Brendan Rodgers thinking how can I change it what can I do next it's about that stage Wolves have done it now Leicester have 
experienced player, Old Brighton. He's only made two starts in the Premier League this season, but regularly used off the bench. He's got a quarter of the game to impress here. We've got 22 and a half minutes to go. Doherty with a crossfield ball that's headed down by Saez. The Wolves have it inside their own half. Willy Bully. The right hand side of the three central defenders. Goals long. Wolves haven't played many like this today. Headed away by Ricardo Pereira. Nice cushion header down for All Brighton. It gets his first touch having come on. Tracked by Johnny Otto. Good tackle. Ball goes out of play. Off All Brighton. Throw in to Wolves. Taken quickly. To Neves. Hooks out a crossfield ball. They can't get the ball to Troy Orion off. And he goes around Harvey Barnes. The crowd enjoy that like a, a bull around a matador as the ball was nearly given away, but then Dunker keeps it moving. Now, here is Diogo Jota caught by Ricardo Pereira. Advantage being played as Johnny tries to cross on the left hand side. Uh, he's back up at his feet is uh, Diogo Jota tries to weave his way into the penalty area no way through Leicester will clear it away Johnny Evans up towards Vardy on the halfway line Vardy's header for Tito Mons he can't hold on to it Wolves are having a good spell here Jota in front of Johnny cross on the left hand side Doherty's up there heads it down for Raul Jimenez in the penalty area Sayunchu between him and goal good challenge by the Turk puts it out for a corner corner to Wolves on the right hand side 20 minutes to play well, it was end to end. We've just seen a wonderful little flick by Jota. It calls the back post. Doherty wouldn't really want to head it with a, the cut on his head. And Jimenez tries to take the touch, but well defended. The pressure's finally coming for Wolverhampton Wanderers. Corner on the right hand side as Wolves come forward. They're playing left to right as we look down here at Molyneux. Ruben Neves, former Porto player. Prepares to take it. Crowded penalty area waits. Here it comes. Right footed. Low trajectory. Headed by Chilwell at the front post. Sits up for Johnny outside the penalty area. Back into the mix low. Chilwell should be able to clear away here. He wants to take it around Neves. This is very cocky and confident for Chilwell. And Neves charges him down. It will be a throw into Leicester. Left full back position for them. Nil nil. Just wondering where it's going to open up. Who, who takes the advantage? At the top of the pitch, Jamie Vardy now still not getting these opportunities. Brendan Rodgers talking to the, the substitutes. Can he change something? And it seems like it's going to be Wolves pressure rather than Leicester City. So Leicester taking the throw away. Chilwell wasn't in the right position. So Mike Dean is making him go back. Bet you ends up taking it from the exact same spot. Wolves fans are going crazy. Uh, Chilwell from the same spot. He took the first one does it again what is the point anyway Vardy tries to flick on Wolves get it back immediately Bully to Cody upper hand in this game has switched sides quite often the pendulum has swung at the moment Wolves are the team who are on top 19 minutes plus the stoppage just to go at Molyneux would it be a point each a long ball played forward by Saez Raul Jimenez made a good ground to get into the penalty oh he's on very well up against uh, Chilwell and he's got support Two from Adama Traore dancing and jigging gets to the byline sends in across close to Doherty but not quite close enough and Ricardo Pereira here confidently chips it out to all Brighton Leicester want to play their way out of trouble Vardy looks very isolated at the moment whenever they play it up to him there isn't a teammate within 30 yards here is Neves in the centre circle for Wolves can they capitalise on this good period of pressure and chances can they score Adama Traore Right hand side, Chilwell already scared, backing off him, doesn't want to pounce. Adama Troyer is allowed to walk into the penalty area. This time he brings it onto the outside of his right boot. Chilwell did well though, pounced at the right moment there, blocks the cross, but Adama Troyer gets another chance to the byline right hand side. Blocked by Chilwell, Wolves think handball. Mike Dean says no, he says corner. Don't think it was an intentional handball, even if it did strike his arm there, it's, it's right in front of him, and the arm isn't particularly stretched out. Yeah, it did strike it full, but yeah, he was going to be very unlucky, Chilwell, to get that given against him. But nice and positive by Traore down his right-hand side. It's his arm pit anyway, not the, uh, not the full arm. Anyway, corner to Wolves, Neves to take, Leicester preparing to make a change, Dennis Pratt's coming on. Corner played in by Neves, really high, towards the back post. Doherty wins the header, but it's cleared away then by Madison. Leicester had pulled everyone back no one in attack Cody has it all to himself in the centre circle hooks it onto Neves what a brilliant pass to Adama Traore attacking down the right hand side into the penalty area pulls it back but pulls it back straight to Chowdhury 
That touch from Neves couldn't have been played any better. Really good stuff. All Brighton here with a little clever turn on the far side, and he's twisted it in front of Ricardo Pereira. Good speed, good challenge by Roman Saez. No, no one's blinking here. No one's backing down. Two teams completely going for this at Molyneux. Ricardo Pereira's hurt, and the referee blows his whistle to halt play. And he's going to see if Ricardo Pereira needs some treatment. Very committed performance from two teams. You can see why well, they've both been so successful this season. Well, you can. It was another wonderful touch this time by Albrighton. Pereira didn't disappoint. He wanted to push out of his feet. Pereira all the way down the right. And that looked a real dangerous channel and challenge, but just doesn't really seem to open up for Leicester City at the moment. What a game of the championship tonight. Hull three, Swansea four. Rian Brewster, who's on loan from Liverpool, the youngster has scored there with six minutes to play 4-3 what a win that could be for Swansea away from home tonight at Hull in the championship this evening here in the Premier League 0-0 between Wolves and Leicester it's been a good game though Wolves feeling very hard done by that a, a goal was disallowed by VAR before half time Ricardo Pereira has been one of the best players of the game wins a throw in for Leicester attacking position down the right hand side this is right by the corner flag they're attacking and Wolves bring everyone apart from Raul Jimenez back behind the ball here comes the Leicester change Dennis Pratt is going to come on in place of Yuri Dillimons so that is one Belgian midfielder replacing another Dillimons who had one very good shot I remember early in the game saved by Rui Patricio fresh legs now into that engine room Dennis Pratt joins the Leicester midfield we've seen Tillemans early on in the game he had couple of opportunities start of the second half he had another so there's three chances going forward he probably feels he's run out of steam a little bit with the, the work that he put in early on in this game Pratt's first touch back to Johnny Evans now Sionchu in the centre circle 11 men behind the ball for Wolves Leicester's outfield players are all in the Wolves half and Brendan Rodgers down there urging them to push out I think he's concerned the pressure that Leicester's defence has been under over the last 15 minutes or so he wants his team to to push on and apply a bit of that themselves Evans in the centre circle Soyuncu to his left short for Chilwell Chilwell's closed out by Adama Traore he's giving him a torrid time since coming on then Donkert as well against uh, Chowdhury Chowdhury who's has already been booked in the game he has second yellow card for Hamza Chowdhury and he is sent off Leicester City will finish with 10 men just as they did last season against Wolves back then it was Vardy who was dismissed here it's Hamza Chowdhury who slipped when he tried to get the ball he tripped and Donker right in front of Mike Dean second yellow red card what do you make of that Michael Brown not for me one bit he's slipping I think he's very very unfortunate the second leg does come round slightly but he's he's very unlucky you see he's slipped that's how he's lost the ball and Mike Dean was very, very quick. He never actually stopped to even think about it. So, this changes things. Ten-man Leicester. Suddenly, a nil-nil draw they would take gladly. 14 minutes to go. 14 minutes for Wolves to try and win here against a team playing with uh, with one player fewer. And they're going to bring on a striker, Daniel Podens, who's taken over the number 10 shirt from Patrick Cutrone. He made his first appearance for Wolves two weeks ago this will be his second game for the club having joined in January he's about to come on standing patiently on the halfway line for the moment here's Adama Traore who certainly had an impact Wolves previous substitute look at him go here puts it one side of Barnes runs around the other now Madison tries to tackle him good work for Madison and it oh Adama Traore wants a quarter he's not going to get it the officials saying that Madison's tackle went back off Traore and out for a goal kick. Here's the change. Number 18, Diogo Jota. Patrick last season against Leicester. He will make way. Daniel Polis comes on. Another of the Portuguese mafia here at Molyneux. Polis looking for his first goal for the club. And thank you for your this home here debut. at Molyneux this evening. Tonight's game. 31,682 so the front three Traore, Jimenez and Porence 31,682 the attendance tonight which is capacity Soyuncu has possession for Leicester 
And it looks like Poland's going to play where Jota was on that left-hand side of the three-pronged attack. Just looking at Leicester City now, I thought, would they, would they sort of just leave Vardy and you know, concede possession? But actually, they've been very brave. They said Barnes, however, up. Alberton right on as a, as a front three. <laughs> it's extremely adventurous against this Wolf side. Will that red card be the difference in a game that's been so tight and close between these two? Surely now Wolves have got the upper hand as uh, ball is played in front of Johnny down the left wing. Good retreating though, boy. Another Johnny, Johnny Evans, who gets there first and rolls it back to Schmeichel. Kasper Schmeichel's clearance up over the halfway line. Can't really remember Schmeichel having a, a top class save to make in the game. And that's the thing Wolves will be disappointed with. The course of that VAR goal disallowed Bolly's header, but apart from that, have they threatened Schmeichel it off? Barnes looked to a foul Traore. This time the officials say no. Fair challenge. Throw in for Leicester, which they take quickly. These circumstances, if Leicester could get a goal and win this game, they will be over the moon because they'll know they got away with one with the, the VAR goal, and now they're playing with 10 men. It would be a proper smash and grab if uh, Brendan Rodgers' team could get the winner here. 11 minutes plus the stoppages to go. Soyuncu turns and calmly gives it back to Schmeichel. Noise from the Wolves fans. They know that this is an opportunity for their team. That's a huge opportunity, but you know, Leicester City now are, are trying to play some build-up, trying to move the ball, try to kill it. I think Wolves there now can actually go right on, go try and get after it. But they're not, they're sat in as usual, so they've got the space Leicester City now to keep it for a little while that red card for Chowdhury first time in almost a year that Leicester have had a player sent off in the Premier League last was Harry Maguire now of Manchester United when he was sent off against Burnley last March this is Madison Tim Dunker in the midfield for Wolves has done well Traore back helping out the defence for a moment he looked in danger of losing it but he always seems to have a little lunge he can make and Traore does well and gets warm applause from the Molyneux crowd Wolves playing it out of defence left hand side with Johnny gives it in field to uh, to Ruben Neves now back into defence Doherty right hand side Wolves nil Leicester nil Traore will pass it back into his own half again to Willy Bully and now Ruben Neves inside the centre circle ten men of Leicester sitting deep inside their own half Soyuncu lunges as it comes towards Raul Jimenez Wolves have it back Connor Cody quarterback style looking for the wide receiver Adama Traore wonderful first touch to control it Traore breaking into the penalty area Chilwell sitting off him here's the cross great header but just over the top from Raul Jimenez he was out level with the penalty spot it was 12 yards out it needed real power he provided the power but just over the top he did it was a great ball from Cody out to the right hand side Ben Chilwell just decides to delay Adama Traore try not get him down the outside he doesn't want to do that but on this occasion no full credit to Adama Traore he picks out Jimenez he hangs it up he reverses it back and then another poor header from Raul Jimenez right Wolves have made another change nice one to make at this stage of the game Jao Moutinho comes on and Ruben Neves is the player who has departed nine minutes to go plus the stoppages ten man Leicester in possession Dennis Pratt midway inside his own half rolls it back to Johnny Evans back to Schmeichel high press from Wolves as they try to put pressure on the ten men Doherty wins the header for the home side gives it to Adama Traore so strength there as he holds off Soyuncu free kick is given I wonder if that uh, Mike team might have allowed advantage there you know Doherty was running in towards the penalty area but Adama Traore with Soyuncu who we know is, is built like a tank himself and he was rattling into him he couldn't unsteady Adama Traore he was just anchored into the turf oh 4-4 four, four in the championship Hull 4 Swansea 4 a goal 5 minutes into stoppage time to bring that game back on level terms again Hull 4 Swansea 4 not over yet he asked about the test of Adama Traore <laughs> well that was a big test and he went straight in for the challenge now, free kick to Wolves. Joe Moutinho, first touch since coming on. Right-footed ball into the middle, hits the forehead of Raul Jimenez, but he couldn't get any power on it, and it drifts away wide. And a goal kick to Leicester, and surely they'll begin to take their time now. Brendan Rodgers' side playing with 10. They'll take the draw now. They will do, but just look at the setup. Out of possession, it was a 4-4-1 in clear. Really narrow, the two wide players. 
but with the ball they've gone and said well OK we'll leave the two in the middle and we'll put the three right up so yeah. Attack could be the best form of defence it, yeah, it has forced Wolves to now all drop back which of course moves them away from Kasper Schmeichel's goal Schmeichel clears it straight down the middle Vardy comes easily beaten by the taller Willie Pauly what a header and a damage Traore is after it an injection of pace he started that run behind Chilwell he easily overtook him and that is the raw speed that Adama Traore brings to this Wolves team. There seemed so little danger when Bolly won that header and suddenly the afterburners were turned on by Traore. Isn't that Adama Traore slowing down now? Is that what they say? He's, uh, he doesn't run as fast as he needs to. Frightening. Absolutely frightening. Chilwell clears away for Leicester. Anywhere will do now. Just long into the Wolves half. Clock ticks on. Six and a half minutes to go. Wolves nil, Leicester nil. If it was to stay like this, Wolves would move up to 36 points. That would bring them level with Everton. They'd have a better goal difference than Everton, so they'll move ahead of Manchester United and ahead of Everton. They would be behind Tottenham in seventh place this evening. Wolverhampton Wanderers, but can they get the winner? Here comes Johnny, tries to take a touch into the penalty area. Good defending from Madison. Madison's really impressed in the defensive uh, way tonight. He's done a lot of hard work in that Leicester midfield now Vardy comes on the attack if anyone could nick a breakaway winner it's Jamie Vardy waits for some support to arrive and it does from all Brighton cross on the right hand side Rui Patricio diving down on the edge of his six yard box makes the save and bowls it out to Matt Doherty nil nil here it's all over at Hull 4-4 four, four, it's finished an eight goal thriller that pendulum really did swing one way then the other here comes Adama Traore on the attack for Wolves sets off towards the byline right hand side cuts back at himself not a great ball for Dendonka but Dendonka gets there first ahead of Harvey Barnes now Gian Moutinho chance to shoot edge of the penalty area five yards wide didn't catch it as he would have wanted to but Wolves here are banging on the door with just over five minutes of normal time to go he didn't but nice and fresh Moutinho as he as he comes on he was he shades to go left, he pushes it out of his feet, and you would expect with his quality, his right foot, he would have done better but pulled the ball wide. Yeah, it's been nil-nil, but it's been a good nil-nil, there's been a lot of incident. It's two teams who have been evenly matched, they've both had their periods of dominance in the game. Wolves will be the one feeling the most hard done by though, having had a, a VAR goal that, that really was on the pernickety end of the scale. It was several passes in the build-up to the goal that the offside happened. It was not in a dangerous position, and it was a fractional heel. Um, and of course, the, 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 you know, the, the, the rules are the rules. If you're offside, you're offside, and all the rest of it. That did a seem a particularly uh, pedantic one. And it may have been the difference between Wolves getting three points tonight, Michael, and one which, end of the season, those two points could make all the difference. Well, it could make all the difference, and... We talked about VAR, we've seen many decisions this season. But just going back to that one seems very different, it's unlike one we've already seen this season. So there'll be a lot of talking point. The Wolves supporters, as you heard at half time behind us, were not best pleased. Luckily, we'd actually gone off a heck, Connor, because they weren't, they weren't pleased at all in some of the words. As you can understand, it's that frustration, and the supporter in the stand doesn't really realise what's happening. Yeah, fourth time this season that Wolves have had a goal disallowed because of VAR. Here comes the damage, Traore. But all will be forgotten if they come up with a late winner here. They've four minutes to do it. Traore crosses on the right-hand side. Too high for Raul Jimenez. Sits up for Saez, and now Gian Moutinho. 15 yards outside the penalty area. Out to the left to, to Johnny who tries to... No, sorry, that's Podence who tries to turn. And Ricardo Pereira slides in and him and clears it away. And up to Jamie Vardy who's very isolated here. Gives it back to Ricardo Pereira again. 20 yards inside the Leicester half. Pressure being applied by Johnny. Good tackle by him. Ball goes out for a Leicester throw. The better forward play there from Jamie Vardy. Anticipating the ball getting loose. Getting there first. He needs to hang on to that ball. He does. He doesn't just run it up the line. He comes back, plays it to a, a fellow teammate. That's what you need to take the pressure away late on in a game with 10 men. Is it to be a 12th draw in the Premier League this season for Wolves? Here come Leicester down the right-hand side with Mark Albrighton. Tracked all the way by Dent Donker. The Belgian wins back possession. Wolves have it, but they're back around the edge of their own penalty area. Can they get it forward? Doherty evidence of the extra man here in midfield as he gives it on to Adama Traore on the right hand side he wants to run against Chilwell Chilwell fouls him, pull of the shirt Chilwell has not enjoyed this game since Traore came on and that is a free kick to Wolves 
Crossing position on the right hand side, yellow card for Ben Chilwell. I was just looking and thinking, does he go tight, does he not? You can see the ball that's going to be played to Adama Traore, but as a left back as you come across, do you go really tight? Do you not? Does he do you inside your shoulder or outside your shoulder? He decides to think, well, I'll stay safe, I know he's got that pace, but once he squares you up and stops you, he then pushes it again and ultimately he's just quicker than you. Yeah, you won't match his acceleration, absolutely not. Uh, Doherty, who's, who's been struggling all night with this cut to the head, he's taken off the plaster now, the blood has started to flow again, and the medical staff are working on that. So once again, Wolves are temporarily down to 10. 10 against 10 now. With Chowdhury have been sent off for Leicester, with Doherty receiving treatment, they're putting on a new fresh bandage again. And Joe Moutinho preparing to take this free kick for Wolves. Ten yards outside the penalty area, wide on the right. That's a great delivery into the danger zone. Soyuncu heads it away. Picked up by Johnny inside the penalty area. All Brighton tackles him. Ball goes out for a Wolves throw. Wolves on the attack with 90 seconds of normal time to go. Doherty's back on, by the way. This was a header from Soyuncu. Brilliant, because the ball was a sublime ball in that little corridor just outside of the six-yard area. You're thinking, is a, a Wolves player, is he going to get it? And there he was really brave. He takes a knock on his head at the same time. Just watching the clips back, and he gets one, but he's a great header under pressure, obviously, in the closing stages of this game. I mean, he's, he's been such a revelation for Leicester this season, so aren't you? They, they genuinely have not missed Harry Maguire. You know, they've sold Harry Maguire for a fortune and it's made no difference because Sayuncu has come in and he's, he's been at least as good as Maguire was last season. Uh, and he did receive a blow to the head there. I think the Wolves fans thought he was just time-wasting. He did receive a clash of heads. Great defensive header. Right, Wolves have got themselves a corner. This isn't over yet. 25 seconds of normal time to go. Five line for the BBC in the Premier League. Wolves nil, Leicester nil. Wolves playing against 10 men after Chowdhury's dismissal. And they're all up now. It's a heavily congested penalty area. Raul Jimenez has got his hand in his air saying, cross it into me, I'll head it into the net. Madison Mabolli. Joe Moutinho swings it in. Header from Raul Jimenez is just wide. Football's a very simple game sometimes. Good cross, good header. So close to winning the match. Well, this is a free header. I was just pointing to you, Connor, about the overload round the back. Even, you know, Madison ended up with Bolly. That left Jimenez. As they, obviously, they've got the screen. They've got that, that block, that zonal on the edge of the six-yard. But the ball was good. The delivery was right on the head of Jimenez. That's three or four chances now with his head. has been really, really poor. He puts it wide. By his standards, he's not been quite sharp enough tonight, Raul Jimenez. Goal scorer 20 occasions already this season, but he's left a few out there tonight. Nil-nil. We're in five minutes that have been added on for stoppages. There could still be a winner from either side. Dennis Pratt in the midfield, held up by Ricardo Pereira. Two Portuguese players, a uh, Portuguese player playing in front of Albrighton down the right-hand side. Outside Saez, he puts it out for a throw-in. Throw into throw Leicester, attacking position down the right, 15 yards or so from the corner flag that they are attacking. And Brendan Rodgers happy for them to commit players forward here and to try and press... Wolves back there's further activity there's going to be a late change here they're going to bring on defensive reinforcements Wes Morgan he's been prepared for his entry for this uh, period of stoppage time another foul on Ricardo Pereira another free kick to Leicester this is a dangerous position actually crossing position on the right sionchu has gone forward Johnny Evans is going to go forward so even though they've only got 10 men Leicester are throwing caution to the wind here they're going for it do not put him on now with a, Bring a him set piece that Wolves opportunity and you talk about threats coming on the pitch only and Adama Traore for Wolves Morgan well, they haven't done it in time no he won't get on in time here's the free kick James Madison right footed great cross headed down just away from Sionchu Pratt was following up this is all Brighton great block by Johnny Wolves defending bravely throwing their body in front of the ball here's all Brighton again low cross into the penalty area Saez is there to clear it away as far as Pereira been impressed with Leicester with 10 men they are still going for this throw into the right hand side take it quickly by all Brighton on to Ricardo Pereira challenged by Saez now a chance for Wolves Raul Jimenez with a delicate touch 
for Johnny. Back to Raul Jimenez. He runs into Pratt. Good challenge. And the ball is cleared away. That was an opportunity for Wolves. Just not sharp enough to take it. They come again. Joao Moutinho. Vardy is back helping out the defence. Commits a foul, but play on, says Mike Dean. Wolves still have possession. This is Podence. Tried to take it with him into the penalty area. Left it behind him. And when he gets the way, he should have left that. But as soon as he gets it, flag was raised. He was clearly offside. And that is a free kick to Leicester. And here comes Morgan, and Morgan will replace Barnes. Harvey Barnes goes off. Wes Morgan comes on. And it'll be Morgan, Soyuncu, and Evans at the back for Leicester. I just didn't understand why he didn't put him on. It was a great opportunity for Leicester City. They had the board ready, the ball was dead. Oh, so surprised. And then just as you knew, it was Leicester City were pressing. It fell for Wolves, but what a touch by Jimenez. I think it was Johnny Evans who went in all in. If he'd have caught him, he'd have been in trouble. Wes Morgan, who scored here at Molyneux last season. We are in the five minutes of stoppage time. There is not long to go here. Nil-nil between Wolves and ten-man Leicester. Willie Bully jumps and leaves. I think he intentionally left that. He knew that it was going to fall back for Cody. Cody, in turn, leaves it for Rui Patricio. Here come Wolves, urged on by a capacity crowd here. Can they get the winner against ten men? Gian Moutinho near the halfway line ball into space for Roman Saez on the left he immediately launches himself deep into the Leicester half Johnny outside him onto Podence back to Dendonker in the midfield now Gian Moutinho 15 yards outside the penalty area here's Adama Traore Chilwell has got twisted blood Adama Traore left footed shot saved by Schmeichel and hooked away by Soyuncu well every time up until now Traore has taken it to the byline and crossed this time he pulled it back on his left and had a crack at goal and Kasper Schmeichel in stoppage time made a very good save well that's the difference in Dama Traore he's gone right hand side every single time and just as the overcoming on was Chilwell he chopped it back hit it very very early with his left foot so unfortunate straight at the goalkeeper on a knife edge nil nil on five live throw in from the left hand side by Johnny Flicked on by Dent Donker, headed away by Pereira, only just outside the penalty area. Poland clips it into the box. Here is Traore, tees up Jimenez, and it's blocked away for a corner. What a block! Soyuncu threw himself in front of that shot there. Everything for the cause for Leicester, and it's his block that denies Raul Jimenez a shot on target, and he puts it out for a corner. Brilliant end to this game. Traore just sets in Jimenez. There he was, and Soyuncu with a magnificent block over the bar it is a brilliant end to the end, end of the game you can't take your eyes off this Jamatinho corner kick on the right hand side busy penalty area awaits here it comes right footed Soyuncu again commanding header away and that will be that booze from the Wolves fans they feel hard done by by VAR tonight Willie Bully thought he had got his first Premier League goal of the season ruled out for an offside in the build up involving Diogo Jota several passes before it came through to Willie Bully Leicester their moments in the game they had some big chances as well but it finishes in a share of the spoils Leicester remain in third place Wolves move up to seventh it's finished Wolves nil Leicester nil